Hey there viewers, thank you for tuning in to Super Mario Diagnostics. Once again, I've got here a 2012 uh, Chevy Cruze. <clears throat> Customer's concern is a harsh start and a check engine light. Now I tend to ask if the harsh start happens right after fill up because uh, that's classic purge valve issue. But I've got no info on that. Um, the service rider, actually I'm sorry, the, the manager went out to the car and started it up just fine the car has a full tank of gas and 106,000 miles almost 107,000 miles and said that the light came on the check in the light came on but the light is not on at the moment so we're gonna go ahead and check out these trouble codes real quick I'm not worried about cooling flow because that's a separate job what I'm worried about is the evap flow during non-purge that can only mean one thing fuel system rich probably as a result of the purge valve issue intake air flow system performance well an of evap purge valve stuck open is considered an intake leak so I just want to check out real quick this live data now unless some crazy drastic change has happened in the few in the recent years there should be no purge valve opening at idle so let's go ahead and see if we can find our purge valve just to confirm that it should be closed you never know okay so it's at 17 percent but what i want to do is disconnect our purge valve so that it has zero command basically zero opening and check to see if there's any uh, air passing through just to confirm that code so let's go ahead and open up the hood okay so this is our purge valve here you can hear it's ticking so I'm going to disconnect it this is just to ensure that there's no command happening and it should be closed this is a normally closed solenoid no matter which purge valve you're working on on any car so basically I'm removing the clip and checking for vacuum here. You can see it pulling my glove. But just to uh, give you a visual, I'm gonna hook up a vacuum gauge real quick to this. Okay, basically it's a quick test actually. Um, this is a normally closed solenoid once again. I'm gonna hook up my vacuum gauge and you can see we have about 17 inches of vacuum. So that that valve is stuck open see that we have confirmed that stuck open purge solenoid so we're gonna go get ahead and get an approval for this see if we can replace this purge solenoid and uh, clear our codes and we're gonna test our new one as well the same with the same method okay so real quick we got our new part here what I'm going to do is test it first. I'm going to remove my old purge solenoid from the intake manifold. And sometimes they're not so easy, but nothing a little uh, pocket screwdriver prying won't fix. There it goes, it's out. I'm going to go ahead and hook up my new purge solenoid there in the same spot and do my same test so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start up the vehicle now we have our vacuum providing uh, provided to our purge valve and like I said this is a normally closed solenoid so we should see no vacuum over here There you have it, zero vacuum. That little rise is the pressure that you get when you're compressing. There's not really anything happening. A very sensitive needle, I kind of like it. But there you have it. So that's a quick and easy test. Just to check your purge solenoid. 
if you get one of these codes. But let's go ahead and finish the job real quick and uh, we'll get on with it. Okay, let's go ahead and finish this job. I could just find my red clip. <laughs> there it is. All right, so pretty sure it went on like this. So you know what? Let's put the clip on first and uh, take it from there. Honestly, a couple of hours have a couple of hours have already passed by. I honestly don't even remember how this thing was on. So, hey, something like this. It's the funny thing about these jobs. You step away, and then you. Uh, I've worked on already like five or six cars since, and you kind of forget where were you. What were you doing? So we are back on and connected. And we are good to go. Alright fellas, so our new part is in and we are good to go. We've already tested the before and after. Uh, just to recap, uh, there was no check engine light on at the moment but the light was uh the customer had seen the light and it had turned off on its own nonetheless um <clears throat> pull the codes we could see uh intake uh, performance we could see not uh, purge during non flow that means that when it's expecting not to see any vacuum in the tank it's seeing vacuum in the tank through the fuel pressure fuel tank pressure sensor um <clears throat> the easy way to test these when you have access is like how we just did we uh just disconnect the fuel tank side of the hose uh, side of the perch valve and we go ahead and connect the vacuum gauge or just use your you know the glove test the finger test and check for vacuum there on a normally closed uh, perch valve now the live data kind of threw me off it said 17 percent command on the perch valve at idle maybe it was meeting certain conditions but honestly this is the first time i see that but i guess that's a thing now um, i'm gonna do more digging on that but <clears throat> If you have a case where the um, command is above zero percent, well, just disconnect it. If it's disconnected, it's not receiving any power. So, disconnect the solenoid and check for vacuum at the uh, fuel tank side of the purge solenoid. We confirmed that it was leaking and put in a new one, and we're good to go. Nothing else to worry about. And now that is a, a telltale sign when you have a car that does not start after you fill it up. That usually tends to be a purge valve stuck open. All the gas fumes from the charcoal canister are being just loaded into the engine and creating an, creating an extremely rich condition which we had a code for as well and um, I think that's it I think I covered everything if I didn't then I'm sorry <laughs> trying to be as thorough as I can but if you like what you see hit like and, and subscribe you know share comment leave something in the comment box you know I like to hear the feedback <clears throat> It's good to know whether I'm doing good or not, you know. If you have any criticisms, I'll take them as well, you know. If uh, I'll never miss an opportunity to be enlightened on something. Maybe somebody can enlighten me on the uh, duty cycle. Maybe it was meeting certain conditions. But nonetheless, subscribe. Thanks for watching. This is Mario. 
and until next time.